Hello there ladies and gentlemen, this is Orphan Last aka Skylar Madison and today I'm going to be using my brand new computer here. It's been a lot of work just getting this thing up and running trying to get all of the software that I need and everything. But the main focus of today is the new version of OpenTunes Marevna. As of right now, this is just a developer's build and eventually it's going to be launched to the public. So let's go ahead and open up this OpenTunes Marevna. Now this is the one that has the assistant tool. Now what's weird is that at, with this developer build, what I'm seeing is it's uh, missing a shortcut. So I go browse, I search for exe, which is an executable file. I open it up and it goes ahead and boots up. Okay, so everything is default open tunes uh, sort of layout and all that. So this is what we're going to be focusing on inside of this video. This is the assistant tool right here. So let me open up Krita really quick here. Okay, so this is Krita. I've gone ahead and opened it up and okay so if I click on the assistant tool and go into the tool options you can see that there is the concentric ellipse, ellipse, fisheye point, uh, infinite ruler, parallel ruler, uh, perspective, uh, the ruler, the spline, and the vanishing point. Okay nine different types of assistants here. This release of the assistant tool is pretty much the foundation. It's the infrastructure in order for more tools to be added into it. So uh, basically the tools that you're going to be able to expect is the ruler, which if you guys recall, is just the ability to draw out a line. But the weird thing is that it's actually, it's more like the infinite ruler. Okay, so that you're able to draw like that and then you have to pull out your assistant tool and change these two handles, pull out your brush, and then draw another line. Okay, that's what we're going to be expecting. All right, we also have the ellipse inside of open tunes. This is what you'll be able to expect. Then the last one that's going to be inside of open tunes right now is this. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and show it to you. And uh, I know that your guys' hopes have been really high and you guys have been expecting all, I believe I said there's eight of these. I, I, and you guys have been expecting all eight. But unfortunately, we're not going to be able to have that right now. That's down the road as, you know, as requests come in, as developers come in. If, if somebody wants to start Kickstarter campaigns in order to get it into OpenTunes, then that's great. So let's go ahead and go into OpenTunes and see what it has to offer. Okay, so we click on the Assistant tool and uh, we see Assistant type up here. All right, now what we do is we go ahead and we select one of these. You know, you click and then it creates an ellipse and you can grab these handles. You can go ahead and move it around. Now one thing that I haven't been able to figure out is how to delete it. That's the one thing that I can't seem to figure out. Uh, but it is it is a decent enough thing. But if you pull out the brush, you'll notice it'll say the current tool cannot be used on a assistant meta level. Okay, so basically what it did is it created a whole new level here. And uh, you can see that the assistant is applied to only one frame. This is so that you can actually animate your perspective or animate the different sorts of assistants that you might need from frame to frame. Okay, so let me go on to column two and you can see the assistant right there and I'm just going to go ahead and draw just like that. Okay, now if that didn't work out, oh, this is the concentric ellipse. That's awesome, I, I, I didn't realize that. If you turn off assistance up here, then you'll be able to just draw normally. You, you turn on assistance up here and uh, suddenly you'll be using the assistant. And to be honest, it feels really smooth. It, this this really does feel like an improvement to open tunes, even though it's fairly bare bones. But you, could, you can make some interesting looking things just with this concentric ellipse that Marevna has put in here. Uh, you can uh, create some rather interesting shapes that kind of get you to think. Uh, you can mess around with the accuracy to make sure that uh, it's completely locked in. The lower the accuracy is, the more... Oh yeah, see, notice how it started to kind of deviate. Yeah, once I let go of my stylus, it starts to get thicker than, how, than what my brush is actually capable of doing. 
so you know I, I would rather keep the accuracy fairly high and you know you got smoothness as well I'm not really quite sure what smoothness does but it seems like it it creates uh, a bit of lag is what I think it does and so I, I I'm gonna keep the smoothness kind of low uh, size max I'm not really quite sure what these are you know that so that is the ellipse right there you know there's a lot of different occasions when you're going to need to have an ellipse on your animation or inside of an image in general uh, but like I said I have absolutely no idea how I'm supposed to delete this if I wanted to delete it if I right click there's really nothing reset view yeah that doesn't do what I thought it would do yeah so I I don't know what to do about that if I wanted to get rid of this so I'm just gonna go on to frame 2 to create a new assistant so we took a look at the ellipse now we have the line okay and basically you click and it just creates a straight line you're able to move these two handles and notice how it automatically switches to this dash dash option. This is so that you can grab these handles without the risk of you creating another assistant. Uh, one thing that I found really interesting here is if you click on grid, uh, what happens is it creates two new handles. And so what I find interesting is how you just get them closer and closer together and you see these little dots that get closer and closer. So I guess technically you could use this as a system of measurement, which I think is freaking awesome. I, really do I, I think that's pretty cool uh, so we go into the other level and you know if you wanted a line that goes across here to here then that's cool uh, you can have a, a nicely measured sort of thing going on there you know it's uh, you, you pull out the assistant tool once again and uh, if you need to change it up notice how when I rotate these two measurement dots wind up rotating around each other as well which is kind of cool pull out my brush go on to the other level and once again we got that okay and so let's go ahead and go into the uh, meta level once again and pull out the assistant tool and now we have the vanishing point all right and this vanishing point actually works a lot like uh, how it does in Krita now there's some behaviors inside of the uh, ass assistant inside of Krita that I've never really quite understood uh, where you're able to like make things all wonky I, I, I don't understand that stuff at all but it's kind of cool so if I pull out another vanishing point you know I, I can have something akin to two-point perspective going on here so let me go ahead and go here uh, to the other column and uh, so what I what I'm able to do is I'm able to like quickly draw two lines turn off the assistant and draw a line going up draw a line going up I wouldn't use the rulers to be honest it, it, it to me it just seems like a waste of time to use the the ruler let, let me tell show you what I mean go back to the meta this this line tool I wouldn't use that inside of the assistant uh, because that would involve going into the meta level going back to the assistant tool going up to here it's just too much work uh, so as, as a perspective tool, I currently don't think that this is ready as some sort of assistant towards getting you to draw out uh, your backgrounds with any type of accuracy at all. Um, that's not to say that it's bad or anything, it's just to say that this release of the assistant tool inside of Open Tunes is the infrastructure. It's what you need in order to progress further. Measuring things out, it, it would be too convoluted to try to try to be super accurate with measurements. But as I'm doing this, the assistants feel like they actually understand my movements uh, a lot better actually than Krita. There's parts of the way that this is designed under the hood that is coded better, in my opinion, than how it's coded inside of Krita. It just, this does feel like a, a solid infrastructure for this tool. I don't really know what it is that I'm drawing right now. I'm, I'm kind of tossing around in my head the idea of maybe this is a castle, maybe this is uh, something like um, a birthday cake, but I'm, I'm gonna say it's, uh, it's a castle just for the sake of trying to make something that's cool uh, for this specific tool right now. Uh, the way that I would use this right now, honestly, is uh, 
uh, I, I would go ahead and line out what it is that I want inside of the composition. And after laying out what I want inside of the composition, uh, I would bring on over the image that I've gone ahead and composed with the assistant inside of Open Tunes and put it into Krita. That right there is how I would go about using the assistant tool right now. So right now, I, I, I really do not feel as if this is a standalone sort of feature. This feature uh, still has a, a, a bit of ways to go, but it is a solid foundation, okay? I, I want I want to make sure that I get that put down in your guys' head. It, it may not be exactly what everybody was hoping for, and to be honest, it wasn't exactly what I was expecting. Oh wow, the assistant tool, these are vectors. These are vectors. Holy cow, an assistant tool that works with vectors. Guys, this is, this is awesome. This is stinking cool. Holy cow. I, I was told point blank that the assistant tool would not work with vectors. That's what I was told. And it works with vectors. Holy crap. So since it does work with vectors, this gets me to think this is a hell of a lot more impressive of an infrastructure than what I initially thought. This is absolutely amazing. That is amazing. I The thing is, is I was told that vectors have too many unpredictable uh, things going on with it. I, I told it. I, I told Constantine that it would be amazing if we could get the assistant tool to work with vectors, and he said, "Yeah, it would." But uh, since it deals with working with a lot of geometry and stuff like that, he seriously doubted that we would actually be able to do it. That we would actually be able to get that, and we wound up getting it. I had no idea that they would actually implement that, and that it would actually work with vectors. It's so cool. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try out a little bit of an experiment here. So I'm just going to pull out the line. I'm just going to create a line that's up top and another line that is down below. And I'm going to create a Toons Raster level. And I, I, I genuinely want to see if this works on Toons Raster. And it looks like it does definitely work. Let me make this larger so that you can see that. That's phenomenal. So being able to draw lines like this is really important, especially if you wanted to make a character sheet or something like that. And uh, so you, you kind of just just kind of draw out a, a character and you're able to uh, just basically get some uh, dimensions laid out and such like that um, or at least uh, some proportions laid out and so if, if I wanted to draw a side view of this character kind of like a, a character sheet or something like that <clears throat> I can go back to my meta and just uh, create another one of these line assistants and just make sure that all of my proportions are just right uh, I don't necessarily have to use these uh, ruler guides here uh, sometimes those can be a little bit inconvenient and so uh, I, I could quickly just make sure that all of my proportions are just right and let's say I wasn't drawing a character model necessarily let's say I was uh, drawing a character as or, or drawing a bunch of characters that are about the same size the same height as uh, this guy here okay and let's say I, I wanted to have them recede off towards the background let me grab my meta grab my assistant tool Go ahead and get the vanishing point out, and uh, let's see here, with this I should be able to turn on the grid. Yeah, okay, that's interesting. Alright, well let's uh, let's go into the the actual Toons Raster level. I could just go ahead and draw a line going out here, and draw another line that goes out here. And then turn off the assistant, and I could just uh, make sure that all of these dimensions are matching up and uh, draw out the character so that, uh, you know, it works well. Like in the past, it's been kind of like a thought process of mine where I've been thinking, wow, you know, I it's really easy to just use the 3D camera. And uh, yeah, you know, that's that's one way to, to do it. But, you know, it's, it's probably not as easy as some people may think to use the 3D camera. And the reason why I say that is because uh, I, I, I just don't think that way when I'm drawing in 2D. I'm, I'm thinking in, in terms of 2D. 
uh, and, and faking, to manipulating things to make it look like everything is 3D. That's that's my primary goal whenever I'm I'm drawing in 2D. And so using the 3D camera, at least with my workflow, it just seems so unnatural. Even though it, it seems like it would probably be a lot easier um, to do it that way. But this is phenomenal. I'm able to draw with vectors and I'm able to draw with rasters. Vectors and rasters with the assistant tool. And, uh, you know, so I'm just kind of wanting to show you guys that this can be used for more than just one or two things. You can you can use the assistant tool with the current assistants that currently exist for more than just perspective work and such like that. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so right now I want to leave you guys off with a little bit of an update, uh, a little bit of information here. Um, I've been trying to get away from making the Open Tunes news, uh, primarily because I. I've ne when I started my YouTube channel, my goal was not to uh, be known as the guy who makes the news. I, that's that's never been my goal. And every time I've I've made a, an Open Tunes news video, it's felt like okay, well this will get a lot of views, but it, it seems like it's really artificial. The boost in uh, viewership it's artificial because uh, people are uh, not watching my videos because of my artistic capabilities or what I have to teach or anything like that. They're just there for the news. Uh, and, and that's really discouraging. So even though it's a pretty well-performing video on my channel, I've gone ahead and handed it over to Darren T. Uh, he told me from the very get-go that he's interested in it and he, he plans on continuing it, but uh, he doesn't know how well it will work in the long term. If somebody else wants to take on the Open Tunes news, there is an audience for it. Uh, feel free, uh, genuinely, just feel free. But yeah, you know, I, I may release uh, an Open Tunes news video occasionally here and there, but not nearly as often as I have in the past. It's never been a priority of mine. So this is hopefully the last one in a very, very long time, or possibly the very, very last one for me. It's been an interesting experience reporting the news for you guys. Anyways, guys, that pretty much concludes it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you guys would like to get more notifications from me, feel free to click on the bell or go ahead and follow me on Twitter. If you guys would like to see more of my content, feel free to click on anything that's appearing on the screen right now. Thank you very much for your time.